Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your mid-July reading. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see what comes up. Now this is um, mid-July. So we're going to do it a little bit different this time. We're going to get you and the other person. You could be over here, you could be over here. You decide. Alright. Um, we're just going to see what we got. <laughs> I'm throwing cards. We're not going to take those. Um, what do we have? What do we got for Gemini mid-July? For them and the other person. Gemini. Well, somebody's not putting in effort over here. You know, they're not putting in effort. They're not working hard enough. They may have given up. They're just losing uh, losing their attention. You know, I don't want to do this anymore. But this is funny because this is compromising, collaborating, working with somebody else perhaps. Hmm. Teamwork. We got somebody here who's not putting in effort and then we got this is this is working together so somebody may not be putting in effort to work well with others you know hmm interesting Ooh, prince of pentacles reversed now this is you could be dealing with a virgo because we have the hermit reversed as well you don't have to be you could be dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn you could be dealing with anybody who this person may get angry. This person may get frustrated. This person could blow up. Okay, Prince of Pentacles reversed. This person doesn't follow through. This person gets distracted easily. This person doesn't focus. This person doesn't focus. Hmm. Ooh, the lovers. This is, you may have a, a new, new opportunity here, Gemini. You probably have your eye on somebody else or somebody has their eye on you. This is unexpected. You may, you may have a new suitor, somebody that is, uh, you know, really interested in you. Somebody that is very attracted to you. This is unexpected. This is a choice. You, you, it could be somebody that you work with. It doesn't have to be. This could be somebody that, um, doesn't fit your usual description, but you feel a connection with this person. Um, there's a strong connection. There's Cupid. So Cupid is bringing these people together. This person communicates well. This person um, wants to work with you. This person wants to work with you. You may not have to put in much effort, okay? You might not have to. This person really, really, really wants to work with you. So this person over here is lonely maybe they're feeling rejected and they could get upset so i don't know uh, i don't know this is a choice between two as well somebody has to make a choice so you may have you may be in the process of choosing let's go over here on this side three of wands ace of pentacles so this is waiting getting prepared hoping for the best we got somebody here that is waiting they're waiting to give something. They're waiting. They're waiting for that golden opportunity. But they may not be happy in the meantime. This person may be hiding. They may be staying behind the scenes. They're waiting for that moment. So somebody is waiting for that moment. They're waiting for that moment to step forward. Um... Right now, they may be blocked. You may have blocked this person or they're blocking their emotions. They're not speaking. They're hiding. We got somebody here that is hiding their truth. Hmm. Let's go over here. Five of Wands. This is competition. This person has some competition. And I feel like you have, a, you have a choice. You definitely have a choice between lovers here, Gemini. You do. Um, there could be some tension. There could be a lot of uh, opportunities here. 
Seven of Wands reverse. Nine of Wands. This is perseverance, strength, stamina. Let me get this last one, Knight of Swords. There's there's uh, no hurry. There's no hurry. I feel like you had this person right here. There's a new connection. And I feel like we got somebody here that it kind of has their guard up, kind of has a barrier around them, and they got this new connection here. There's a lot of uh, attraction because these wands, these are all passion. There's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a desire. This is a desire. There's a very seductive energy here. So this person probably has a new person that is has, is coming or has entered their life. And there's a, definitely an attraction here. There's some sort of chemistry. Um, but there's indecisive, okay? There's, there's indecision as to whether, you know, I want to work with this person, whether I want to come together with this person, whether I want to... Let my guard down, let this person in. There's indecision. So yeah, there's no hurry. We have somebody here that is in no hurry to let this person in. So I feel like, Gemini, you probably have a new opportunity for love and you're probably in no hurry to, you know, accept it. Um, but this side is for you. Somebody may have been dealing with an untrustworthy individual and that's why their guard is up, you know. Maybe you don't trust you know, you don't want to play any games. It's like, no, nah, I don't want to play any games. So take your time. Take your time. You know, you don't have to rush into this. I think there's, there's indecision about, you know, giving this person a chance because you've been wounded. Maybe you've been wounded really badly. And you, you're still, you know, worried about it. Oh, let's go back over here. Mm, this person is wanting somebody to give them a chance. This person has regrets. This person um, is waiting for the opportunity to communicate. They're waiting for the opportunity to open up. They see you as a golden opportunity. This person over here sees you as a golden, this could be the same, this person could be this person that, you know, sees you as a golden opportunity. They see you as probably the one. They probably think you're the one that they manifested. Maybe you blocked them though. Maybe you blocked them and they're in despair. Yeah. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune reversed. Maybe you've, you've closed this chapter. Maybe you don't want to have anything to do with it. I mean, you may have blocked this person. They're angry. They're upset. They could blow up, just saying, with that Prince of Pentacles. Um, this person is waiting for the moment to step forward. Um, they're stuck. They're stuck on you. They want a fresh start. you got somebody who wants to start over. They want a clean slate. you got somebody here that you know, sees an exciting opportunity. It's like they, they want to take it. They do want to take it. Um, they want a fresh start. Eight of swords reversed. This is removing an obstacle. A three of, a third party situation. This is a third, somebody is Has had bad luck. Somebody has had a lot of bad luck. They involved themselves in a third party situation. They engaged another person. And now they have regrets. And they see you as the golden opportunity. And now they're going to be removing or they have removed that obstacle, that other person. And it's like now they want to start over. That's who this person is. And, you know, there's been a loss of friendship. There's been a loss of a relationship. Whether the, whether this person let go of them, ghosted them, or whatever, there's been a loss, or there's going to be. And now this person, you know, they, 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 ha they have regrets. They've been rejected. You probably blocked them. Um, whoever this side is for, somebody has been blocked. 
this person is angry, this per person wants to start over, this person has had bad karma, bad luck. Now they are removing an obstacle, they're hoping for the best, and they're waiting for that moment to come forth with this solid, stable opportunity gift. They, you may be receiving a gift from somebody that you had a falling out with, okay? There was some sort of walking away or there was a third party situation. Now, when I say third party situation, it doesn't always have to be a lover. It could be a family member. It could be a friend or whatever. Somebody has, you know, there's been too many people involved and somebody has, I think we have this person over here that can no longer block the truth even though they've been blocked it's like now that now they want a fresh clean slate prince of swords they've been watching they have been watching they've been observing and it looks i think they've made their this person and knows i think this person has made the decision that they want they want to start over with you death endings bring new beginnings we got this person that is is releasing a third party or they are releasing something that has held them back that has kept them trapped that has kept them in a mental prison that has kept them stuck they are letting go of something so that they can have a fresh start this person is letting go of something so that they can have a new beginning a fresh start we have a new beginning here for this person this person is is ready this person is ready, but they're not, I mean, it's like they want to, they want to, but they got to take that leap. They probably haven't taken that leap yet. It's like they've been going backwards playing this game. And I think that, you know, whoever this person is, they've been rejected and they probably have a fear of growing old alone and they want, they see you as the golden opportunity, whoever this person is. They want a new beginning with you. This person has has is removing an obstacle they that has hindered them from success it's hindered them from you know fortune it's hindering them from the good things in life it's like this person sees a huge opportunity probably in you so anyway let's go back over here real quick real quick ooh Oh, well, okay. <laughs> so we have love here. We have love. We have a new opportunity for love. Somebody, <laughs> you know, wants to have a new beginning here. This, this is a major new beginning. This is a lesson has been learned. There is love here with somebody that is perfect for you, for this person. This person needs to let go of control. This person needs to go with the flow. This person needs to allow. We have somebody here that, you know, is probably has probably been going front getting going, getting frustrated and maybe even getting angry with having to do all the work, having to put in all the effort. I don't think that's the case anymore. I think that phase is over where you have been putting in all the work, where you've had to be the dominant one, where you've had to take control, where you've had to, you know, <laughs> And now this is being being overly criticized as well. There's a phase. This is a phase that is over. A phase of things being out of control. A phase of... Uh, lack. You know what I mean? This is a completion. A completion of instability okay insecurity i think that you know that that phase of your life is over because i feel like whoever this side is for there's a new opportunity for love here with somebody that is very well suited that will work with you that will compromise that will put in effort that will respect uh, there's competition here too there is a competition i think that you have a choice between two people one person was very controlling. One person may, may have even been a narcissist, a tyrant. This person didn't put in effort, and that's why you don't trust. But whoever this person is that is coming in, this person is available for love. This person has love to offer. This person, you know, has learned some sort of lesson about what love is. 
This person is a warrior. This person is strong. This person does have a lot of stamina. So this person that is coming in is perfect for you. And they will love you. They will work with you. That's why there's a choice here. It's like a choice between the narcissist and the lover. Okay? That's, I mean, the, nar the choice between the narcissist and the lover. Now, have you learned your lesson? Because that's what this is. The lesson, this is closing that chapter on the narcissist or whoever, this tyrant, you know, and moving into a love situation. There's an opportunity for love here with this person, for this person. It's not who you think it is. You're going to be faced with a decision. You know, you are. There's going to be a choice here. Do you want this new love or not? You have graduated from this person, okay, that was very controlling and manipulative and didn't put in effort. You've learned your lesson. That phase of your life is over. you got a new love. This person does. Over here, we have somebody here that, that uh, is wanting to have a new beginning with you. They see you as a golden opportunity. They they may not have stepped forward yet. Maybe you blocked them or they're blocking their emotions. Maybe maybe they're fearful of rejection, you know? Maybe 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 they just got out of a relationship, you know? They did. Somebody has just removed an obstacle. This person has just ended something in their life. And it's like they want to step forward, but they may be fearing rejection with that hermit reverse. They may be you know, thinking that things aren't aren't going to come to fruition. Um, this person is ready to take a leap of faith. They are ready to take a leap of faith. And they see you. <laughs> they see you as the one. So that's what I got here. That is what I got here. So be prepared, Gemini. I feel like you really should expect the unexpected. You have a major new beginning here. Um, somebody loves you. And you have a choice between two people. And that's what I got. 